In this video, I will present to you a new method of controlling your camera remotely using IntelliG and the LiveBridge 2 and A3 or N3 combo using the new DJI expansion kit and a few other accessories. Before I show you how to connect everything, uh, let's see how it works. So the IntelliG device it is now into setup mode. If you do not know how to configure the IntelliG device, please refer to the corresponding videos. So we are now in setup mode and we can see here in the calibration screen that the IntelliG device can see me moving this, uh, uh, these sliders, these knobs here on the inspection kit. Now let's take the device out. We already have a configuration here. I'm resetting the IntelliG device. The green LED shows that the device is now connecting to the camera and it should, it should change to blue once it's uh, fully connected. Yeah, so the blue indicates now that we are in aperture. Uh, the current function that we are controlling is aperture. This here, the first, first knob here is set as master. This one is set as slave. Again, please watch the relevant videos. As I move the slave, you can see that the uh, aperture is changing value. The beeps that you hear are when you put the knob in center position. Now let's change to uh, the next function, which is shutter speed. And you can see now the shutter speed uh, changing. So you, you can use this to, to change any camera settings you want. Uh, we of course have here a record on off. Also have the shutter here. So this is a basic IntelliG uh, setup. Uh, let's see how, how we can connect this. Uh, there are two ways. This one is the more uh, complicated way, but if you are able to understand this one, you'll also understand the, the second method. Uh, so this method here, as uh, you probably expect, it uses the F ports of the flight controller to get the signals that correspond to these control sears out from the flight controller into the IntelliG device. So you can map using the DJI Assistant 2 software, you can map these eight controls here to the eight F ports that you have on your flight controller. Please note that uh, usually the first two ports, the F1 and F2, are used for uh, other things such as the retracts or the fan in the case of M600. So, usually you only have from F3 to F8 uh, available. So this gives us six channels which are more than enough to, to control our camera. Normally we can do it with only three. So we have here six simple wires connected from F3 to F8 to the input ports of this device here. This device here is a an inexpensive PWM to SBUS converter. So the flight controller outputs PWM signals which are converted into SBUS so that we can bring all these six channels or even eight if you want into IntelliG by using this uh, classic uh, servo uh, cable. The, the second method of connecting it, uh, as explained earlier, would Allow, will allow us to bring PWM signals directly into the IntelliG, but because IntelliG only has four PWM ports, uh, I chose to show you this method which can uh, use more, uh, more channels. So again, the second method, you could use four uh, simple uh, wires connected directly from your uh, chosen F ports to the IntelliG PWM inputs. And of course, also in this case and in, in the second method, you would require to have a, a ground wire connected between the flight controller 
and the ne next device in the, in the chain. So right now we have here seven wires connected between these two devices, six uh, signal wires and one ground wire. This means that this device is getting power from the IntelliJ through this uh, servo cable here. So the, Intelli the IntelliJ device is powered uh, externally with uh, 5 volts and it also uh, powers the SBUS converter here. Another th important things to know is are the following. Uh, first of all, this green LED here, uh, make sure that this LED is green because if it's red, it means that something is not working properly. Uh, we had this uh, issue when first installing uh, our expansion kit and because we did not have the latest firmware installed on our Lightbridge devices, uh, this was not communicating properly to the flight controller. Okay, the second uh, important thing to know is that currently at the time of uh, making this video, from these eight channels, only six are working properly. Two of them, actually uh, four are working properly. Two of them uh, are not working at all. So these two, two position switches here do not output anything. So if you map this S4 and S5 to your F functions and connect here any device you want, not necessarily these devices here, you will see that there is no signal coming out. This applies to N3 and to the standard A3 controller. We did not yet check on the M600, uh, M600 A3. So in that case, it might work uh, uh, properly. And uh, the other two uh, remaining channels here, the S3 and S6, which are three position switches, uh, they only work as two position switches. So currently in, in our previous scenario, we were using these three controls here, uh, these two as master slave and this one as uh, record and uh, shutter as a two position switch and we could also have used these three and anyway we only have in general six ports available so these six controls are plenty even with uh, this current bug but we will report this to DJI and hopefully they will uh, fix this. In order to configure uh, your uh, expansion uh, kit, you have to use the DJI Assistant 2. Please refer to the DJI uh, documentations, documentation for that. The basic idea is that you will have to map the controls, the physical controls that you want to be using here to the F uh, ports of your flight controller. In the case of N3 and the standard A3, uh, these ports here are numbered from D1 to D8. Actually, the ports are, are numbered from F1 to F8, but the uh, control sears, when you map them to the ports, they are uh, numbered from D1 to D8. But in the case of uh, the M600, they are numbered as written here from S1 to S8. So there is a clear difference between the firmware of M600 uh, A3 and the rest of the flight controllers. As you can see, we are using uh, the Libris 2 remote without any uh, mobile device. Normally you would use a mobile device, but I wanted to, to make it very clear that in order for this setup to work, you do not need any particular app. So you use your uh, DJI Go app as you normally would. And uh, very importantly, this setup can work in both one man uh, or two men. So if you are uh, the pilot and you also want to control the camera, you do not have a camera operator, you can have this setup. If you uh, are two people, so if you have a camera operator, the camera operator can have this uh, expansion kit on his library to uh, remote. So you can do it any way you, uh, it's best for you. And uh, this setup can work with any camera, so it's not, uh, it's, there is no incompatibility with uh, uh, any 
of the supported camera. So for IntelliJ, this is as if you were connecting here an SBUS receiver. So the IntelliJ doesn't know about the expansion kit. The IntelliJ only receives an SBUS signal. This means that when you configure IntelliJ, you choose an SBUS input and uh, the rest is, uh, is basic uh, configuration. So you can watch the SBUS input uh, setup and uh, understand how, uh, how you should set it up.